Hey everyone, it's Sunday the 9th of June and it is 11.30 in the morning. Right, for today's video I've got a little uh, car boot haul. So it was uh, North Walsham's monthly car boot sale. Um, I actually wish they held it a bit more often than that, but never mind. Um, I've got a few what I would consider interesting bits, including some very nice die cast action. Um, so let's just get straight into it. So item number one is a very cheap barricade lamp from uh, Dorman, and this one's got uh, 1993 on the sticker. Now these particular lamps, I don't know what Dorman actually called these, but these were made for British Telecom. Um, from what I've read anyway. Although this one does not have BT printed on it, they normally have it on one of these corners. A big, um, two, you know, big letters in black, BT. This one doesn't actually have it. Uh, some of them, especially the earlier models of these, will have a T. The old sort of telecom logo. Um, which all my others actually have. This one doesn't have, which is why I bought it, because I've not seen one without it. Unfortunately this doesn't have you know, the electronics and everything in it to make it work, but I'm pretty certain I've got more than one with the the uh, BT on it, so I may steal it out of that. It's, uh, it's a bit sun damaged. I have just uh, given it a good clean with a couple of wet wipes and it's cleaned up really nicely it's just sun damaged I bet uh, this was probably stored like in a shed or a garage or something you know in direct sunlight and uh, it's uh, just faded over the years you see that's the colour it's meant to be I'm just going to take a wet wipe around the middle of that Clean it out. I don't want perfection, I just want to give it a bit of a clean. Clean up quite nicely. It's meant to be a stem in the middle there with your light on and then your circuit board on one side and switch. I actually thought uh, you know it all just fallen out or something somewhere, but I've got a feeling someone had taken it out. Because the switch ain't just going to fall out like that. Well, that's better than it was. So I'm not too worried about the inside because you can't really see on the inside. But I will have a look at my cupboard and see what other uh, versions I've got. You can still find these on eBay as well. Um, it's a fair price for a good condition one. It's uh, in working order. I mean, this one hasn't got the, the electricery bits in it, but that shouldn't be a problem. I'm sure I could actually probably make something up for this as well. Right, next up, a Duracell flashlight torch as we call it here. Um, and the guy said it worked but ah I've actually got it to work. It wasn't working a minute ago. And I thought the batteries were dead because it came with these boots ones but they've tested okay. And I've put uh, Amazon batteries in there. I don't know if something um, if that was just a Dicky switch or something, a bit of dirt on the switch. And me just fa uh, clicking it fast like that has uh, got it to work. I don't know. Um, but somewhere I do actually have the smaller brother to this one as well. Looks identical, it's just smaller and takes AA batteries, not big D cells. It's one of the reasons I bought it. And despite just using an ordinary torch bulb, 
you know, before the invention of LEDs, that's uh, quite a decent torch. I paid, what was it, three quid for the barricade lamp, two quid for that torch. I even got a battery ready to put in that. There's no electronics in it. Um, bicycle lamp. Now this one actually has got Ever Ready written on the top. You can find it with like Exide. Does Exide like to uh, copy Ever Ready, it seems? This was just a pound. I'm just going to see if the. Yep, this should work. The uh, battery contacts are clean. So I'm pretty certain the other light I've got, which is in black like this one, is actually um, Exide. Hey, it works. It's not bad for a quid. I don't know why, but I just really love this style of old bike light. I know the front light was never any good, you could never see where you were going with it. But they're you know, perfectly bright enough for drivers to see you. At least. <laughs> um, now I've been in need of a new keyboard, and I found this. I don't know if I overpaid for it. I paid a tenner for this and the mouse, but it's Trust. And I noticed that this is a lot shorter, which actually might be better for my desk. Um, and it, it's missing the numpad and everything here. But I thought I don't use the numpad. Now I think the numpad. It's more for office use, you know, as a general PC user and uh, mild gamer. I wouldn't say I'm a huge gamer. Um, I thought I'd give this a go. And it actually looks like I can change the keycaps. Yep, they just pop off. So I could probably find a set of... Uh, custom keycaps to go on this. If I can find the, uh, you know, all the model number and everything. Uh, I mean, the mouse I've got works. I can't remember who it's made by now. I've got a Corsair mouse somewhere as well. Um, but it's just getting a bit worn from use. So I thought I'd give this a go. It's got to be worth a, a tenner just to improve this pile of crap I've got there. Well, it's a keyboard that Lidl's sold. I don't know if they still get it in, you know, when they switch everything around in their middle aisle. Um, so I think it's a silver crest and it works, but the print on the keys doesn't last. I've got absolutely no E on the E key. Uh, there's no I, there's no O, it's all worn off. Um, and ASD is, well, there's no A, there's the top half of S and the top half of D. The W still exists though. So, yeah, that just annoys me and I think it looks horrible. Um, yeah, I just thought it had to have been worth a tennis, as long as it works, I'll probably change that out later. Um, got a couple of radios on the floor, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Because uh, I did actually find some nice die cars, in fact, before I forget, I've got a rear tyre for a tractor here in my pocket because it fell off. Naturally, I'm hoping I've got at least one more of those so I can complete it. I don't think I have. Right, so I don't know the manufacturer of this. Oh, it's Welly, but that is actually quite a nice looking model. I'm going to make the fire up here because I will. Uh, I don't think it's going to be easier to think if I bring you guys a bit closer so we've got to reach. Yeah, there it is. I don't know what it is. Cadillac Eldorado. Uh, 
53. There is something very nice about these 1950s American cars. I don't know what it is. Well, actually, I guess, yes, I do know what it is. It's just, I like the design. Ooh, I've got tire off there. Didn't realise that. One of the front tires had started to peel off. Yeah, I just like the design of American 1950s cars. I think the doors open. Oh, the doors do open. Nothing else? No, nothing else. That's in pretty much mint condition. That is a nice little model. Oh. That seems too nice to have a friction motor in it. Uh, I need to clear this desk. I'm going to have to put them on the floor for now, I think. Not unless I can just stack them over here for now. So, here's a little tractor I found with a loose back tyre. One, this one was already missing. But it has got a very good steering wheel on it. And you'll often find that the plastic steering wheel is broken or missing on these as well. That steering wheel is in very good condition actually. Uh, now in comparison to the other Maisto 2CV in a recent Actually, it's in the diecast haul video I did before this one, so you'll see another one before this. That's in very good condition as well. I've got my hand in the way, so I can't see my screen. And I've got a smudge on my lap as well. Here he is. moment there but uh... hmm. yeah, I was just looking at the blue lights I thought they might light up I just thought that was a nice looking amber it's got it's just got the CE written on the bottom made in China. Other than that, it's got no company name or anything on it, so no idea about that one. I think this is actually my second one of these, and my other one is also in my... Oh, actually, yes, it is my second one. The other one's in a different colour, but it's also rough like this one, unfortunately. It's a Ford Thunderbird, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. A little bit of grass in the boot. And that's in relatively nice condition as well. A little majorette front loader. Did you say what sort of tractor it is? Pff, it just says tractor. <laughs> Tractor is what it says. I've missed the R off the end of it. <laughs> Made in France. Uh, well, no, I'm pretty certain I've got another one of these, but I don't think it's in as good condition as that one. That one's actually uh, pretty clean and tidy, all things considered. And I found a nice Hot Wheels Ford Fairlane. Can't find a better way to hold these so I can actually see the screen. Um, now these work together except the match the um, trailer is matchbox and the cab is corgi. I've got one of these in different colour. Uh, it's not in bad shape actually. I just need to find the cab for it. I don't know what cab that's got to have. Like I said, that's a corgi. Don't actually go together, but they were together in the box. So I've only got quite a few corgis here. I've got a stuck wheel on that one. Um, I've got the flathead screwdriver. Is that flat or is that a Phillips? That's a flat. I haven't got 
the cement truck in this colour. There we go, I fixed the wheel. And again, I've got, I think all the ones I'm about to show you, I've got from the same store. Now there's some very nice cars in the box, all 50p each. You haven't got this one. I've got this truck, but not in this colour scheme. And I've got blue with a black, and I've got orange and black and whatnot, but not like a cream and red. We've got the Heathrow Airport bus. And I've got two. Because I didn't know they actually did a variation on this, but I've got the paramedic, because it's in better condition than all of the other ones I've got. And that version of the paramedic. I didn't realise they actually did two different versions of it. I like this one better actually. And that one's more or less mint. They are more or less mint. In fact, I think most of what I got from this chap is pretty close to mint, if not mint. Now we've got Corgi Buick Regal in blue, which I did not have, not in this shade of blue. Anyway, now I must have about 20 plus of these Buick Regals, probably close to 30 actually. Not one in this shade of blue. I've got a light shade of blue, a much lighter shade of blue to this. And it's very rare that you come across one that's as nice as this. This is pretty clean. It's got a few little scuffs there on the door. Oh, and one there, but that's in very nice condition. US mail Jeep. It's missing that the back canopy for it, but still in nice condition. I'm going to save that one because that is very, very close to mint and it was worth way more than the 50p that I paid for it. Anywho, and it's a matchbox. So we'll look at that one last, I think. So I've got this Corgi Porsche. I don't think I've got this one. Yeah, it's got. Tony the Tiger Stripes on it, so this must have been a um, Kellogg's promotional toy, you know, when you used to buy the boxes, collect the tokens, send the tokens off. You get sent back a free toy, they don't do stuff like that anymore. You know, I swear, everything these days has just turned boring. You know? Everything just seemed to be more fun. You used to get free gift in the box. I remember when Kellogg's did the um, bicycle wheel reflectors. You, know, you could get a red-nosed one. You could get the ones that looked like the cockerel in different colours. I've actually still got some. But, uh, you know, they don't do anything like that anymore. I suppose health and safety have said, no, you can't do that. Anywho. I thought this was interesting as well. It's um, a Majorette. I know it's an American cab over truck, but I don't know what type of truck. Um, I think it's got it on there, but it's... to read it. Ah, it's got part of the bumper missing as well. If I was to guess though, it looks like... a Mac, maybe? Or a Pete? I'm not sure. Got any American vi uh, viewers that might be able to recognise it? Just realised we've got a rear mud flap snapped off as well. Still a nice truck. Um, no, this old Matchbox Land Rover, it's the super fast version of it. They did a regular wheels. But I bought this for one specific reason. It's got the baggage on the roof, which is extremely hard to find. In fact, the guy had another one of these in blue. I don't know if that was a super fast version or not, though. I didn't look. But it had that missing. Um, 
So I may actually steal it off of this one and put it on one that I actually want to restore so it's actually so it'll have the original baggage. And then you've got another major egg. It's not the right colour for the boat and trailer I've got, but it will do. I actually can't remember. I think it's a yellow truck that's meant to be with it. And because I couldn't resist, because Mustang <laughs> and the Corgi Ford Mustang in white. I'm just looking at it, it looks like someone may have gone over this with a bit of paint. Yeah, they have. I can see the traces of it. It's not a bad job though, they haven't got any on the windows. I'll give them credit there, they've just got a bit on the uh, plastic base there. So yeah, I'll, I'll give them credit there, they didn't get it on the windows. It's, yeah, it's not a terrible job. And another majorette. Golf, with golf written down the side. And another Hot Wheels. It's actually a variation of this particular car that I didn't have. And it doesn't say what it is. But it's like one of them sort of custom hot rods. I remember back in the 1990s, my dad used to get a magazine called Custom Car. That was a very good magazine back in the day. Uh, Mark II Ford Transit truck from Corgi. And I'm going to have a look on my shelf because I know I've got one in yellow, but I am about 99% certain this is a different shade of yellow. Um, I'm pretty certain the other one I've got is a much more lighter shade. Probably more closer to that shade of yellow. Um, have a look at the other corgi dino rod. Didn't know they actually had plain red vans at one point. But I know ever since like the 1990s they've had fluorescent orange vans. Well, they've got less fluorescent orange on them these days. Uh, just because I can't resist these old police cars from Matchbox. That is in fairly nice condition as well. An old black and white. Is that Mercury? Yep, this says Mercury on it. The taillights, it kind of reminds me of the Ford Galaxy. I don't know if that's what this was based on, maybe. Right, we're getting there. I don't actually know what car this is. I just picked it up because it looked good and it was Corgi. Ooh, is it? It's an Opal Manta 400. Oh, that is nice. I didn't realise that was a Manta. It's in very nice condition, and I also found this for a quid as well, which is also a Corgi Porsche 911 Turbo. I might find more Corgis like this because these are nice cars. I don't like these. Then I found a Volvo Estate. Is that a V70? I think it is a V70, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think Volvo still make them. I could be wrong though, but I don't think they do. Which is a shame, because they are a very nice car. In fact, um, Norfolk Constabulary used to run them as traffic cars. A lot of the uh, police forces in the UK actually ran them as traffic cars. Now, this is more or less plastic. But I did like it because it is a Ford Transit. And one of the reasons I actually got it is so I could um, perhaps display this sort of scale car on it. Something like that. Well, the Volvo's too, yeah, the Volvo's too big. I think the Corgis might work. 
might be a bit small, but yeah, I just thought that'd be nice just to put on display. So you've got the tilt and slide bed on it. Twenty-four hours slash twenty-four. That doesn't make sense. Car repairs and servicing. And a big old crew cab on it. If I had a train or something, that go? No, it's got the provisions for a pullback motor, but it's not actually installed. I don't know why you'd want. You know, I've just realised something that's going to bug me. I feel these back wheels are too far to the rear. They should be somewhere, at least here. In fact, I would say on a real truck they are a bit further along, you know, to support the weight. And they should be dualies as well. I'm nitpicking out a toy, I know. I also found these, because I do like keeping hold of bike lights like this. I think the rubber seal might be missing on that one. These are actually brand new. I've actually got two on the back of my trike. This one's missing the uh, clip. But again, let's work. These are 50p each. Now this style of LED bike light has been around for decades. Um, but obviously in the early ones they just used normal, um, I think they're like 3mm LEDs, something like that. And they're the rounded tops. Basically, just a box standard LED. Um, really, early ones obviously had the green LEDs before white LEDs came along. But these newer ones, they have uh, SMD LEDs on them. Which is your surface mount style. Ooh, these have got the original batteries in as well. So you've got the little yellow chips in them. They seem to work just as well. If not, a bit better. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Don't stare at a light, it's not good. Especially when you have crappy eyes anyway. I've done that with my left one. Right, I'm just going to try and make a bit of room on here. Whoop, I forgot that I had a uh, friction motor in that one. That was the Eldorado just shot across my desk. I pushed it backwards, totally forgetting I had the uh, friction motor in it. Anyway, I think I've got some, uh, some... Oh, I didn't show you this one, did I? Duh. I think this one is the uh, pick. The Mark II Ford Escort RS2000. Now I have got at least four of these in red and a few other colours, but this one is very, very close to mint. And I say that because I've just looked it over several times. That is the only little chip I can find in it. But uh, I have got another one which is fairly good, it's got a bit more play wear to it, but it is in good condition. But yeah, if you stick these on eBay, they will fetch a lot more than 50p. But that one's not going on eBay, I'll probably put one of the other ones on, or maybe a couple of the other ones on. Though, what I might do is actually bypass eBay altogether and just put it on uh, one of the Facebook groups I'm on. I'm actually on one called the Diecast Scrapyard, but you don't get a lot of Diecast scrap posted to it. <laughs> right. So, the other things I got were a couple of these. As I like my portable radio, so I've got one which is a Boots brand, I believe. Yep, boots on the top. And 
that one is a bush. Poundage. He's actually used uh, masking tape for the price tag. I've still got it on yet, it's on the handle. That's not out of the way on there. Now he said they work, and I haven't got a cassette tape to try that. That's a USB cable, I'm not going to power it with that, am I? Where did I put that one here? Uh, he did give me a couple of cables, but they ain't got plugs on them. I can't be bothered really. So, you just want like the figure eight or snake eyes as they sometimes call it. So I'm hearing hissing out of this already. Let's just find the volume. Volume's going to need um, a bit of work. <laughs> it's on FM. I was just looking for an antenna. This ain't got an antenna on it. Ah, it's broken off there. That's why. Mm -hmm. If your duties are still risk. Okay, so I'm going to have to get, um... Well, I could just use myself as an antenna, apparently. Yes, yeah, so it's going to need an antenna. Turn it off, you just put it in a tape mode, which is quite common with a lot of these radios. Let me just grab a, a cassette of some sort. I'm not expecting the cassette decks to actually work on either of these. I've got something I don't really care about. I've got to be careful because. I don't know what YouTube is like for unmonetized un channels, but I know for monetized channels you can, you know, get into doo doo with copyright and whatnot. Whoa! You spit that cassette door out at me. Right. Okay. Place your bets. Shut your mouth. So the final score makes you see. Well, that surprised me. That is working perfectly. I think that makes it worth a quid alone. <laughs> um, what is this cassette, actually? The Greatest Hits of 1988. Yeah, that pleasantly surprised me, so I think with a replacement antenna on it. I've got a few kicking around, I don't know if they're going to fit. Looks like I may actually have to uh, take the back off. It's quite heavy, it's just got batteries in it. No. So, boots, you get a thumbs up. Right, Bush, are you going to get a thumbs up? It's got a lot more... No, it hasn't. This is my imagination. We are hissing again. Yeah, it's got a slider volume switch, just like the other one. That's going to need a clean, but I've actually got some electrical contact cleaner over there. What on this one? You've got an antenna. Tuning. Power LED. That's always a bonus for me. Uh, 
my classic FM there. I don't know if that's... You might be able to just hear that. Well, it's working fine. Uh, let's go to tape, shall we? Oh, that, that's better. A nice soft eject, I like that. Yeah, that volume needs work. I've got that nearly cranked on the way up. He has the volume switch. I need a clean. Okay. Not a problem, so I've got to open both of these up. I doing it when I want to reject it, didn't I? Sweet. Well, for a change, he wasn't telling fibs. I mean, I'm not saying he himself tells fibs, but you get a lot of sellers at car boot sales, you know, yeah, it works fine, blah, 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 then you get it open and find it doesn't actually bloody work at all. <laughs> or only partially works or something, but these actually work. I mean, it needs a service. The volume switch, that's... I believe that's the only button on here that's going to need it. A bit of a clear. I might just put a bit of contact cleaner on the other ones as well. Like the band select, AM, FM. And tape and radio, just to give them a bit of a clean. I may just go over the heads as well with a bit of IPA, just to give them a clean while I'm at it. Uh, yeah, that is uh, it for the video. Oh yeah, I've got to find an antenna for this one, haven't I? I think I'd just be happy with a bit of wire if I can't find an antenna. And I've got one, I just... Heck knows where that is. I, know I should have a few of them dotted about. And I know you can actually buy them on eBay, you know, where people who obviously fix up radios themselves, they may have just taken completely dead ones apart for the parts. So you can get used antennas on eBay. You know, I might see if I can find one on there. I don't think these are going to be difficult to take apart. I see four screw, five screws, unless there's one hidden in this uh, battery compartment, which I sometimes do. If I get the cover off. Yep. Thought so. So six screws trying to do. And it just looks like you can lift the back off, and then I've got to hope I can get to the controls easy enough. The tape decks are playing fine. So apart from perhaps just going over the heads with a little bit of IPA, I. I'm not going to touch them or the belts. What about this one? One, two. I've got three screws. So I'm assuming again under here. Yep, there's one in the uh, battery compartment. I really like the style of this bush. That's definitely my favourite out of the two. I mean, really, I didn't really want this one. But I thought, you know, for a pound, why not? Might give me something to do today, actually. I haven't got much to do. I might just open these up and uh, give them a service. I don't know what I did with the case for that cassette. Oh, see. I 
don't think this is the uh, original, well I know it's not the original case for it. Out the way. I'm 40 years old, I should know what way a bloody cassette goes into one of these by now. Modern day kids probably don't. <laughs> they probably wouldn't even know what that is. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you did, then please hit the uh, like button. If you didn't, then hit the dislike button. And uh, maybe consider subscribing. Um, it's totally free to do so. And uh, it helps you follow the channel and keep up to date when I upload a video and whatnot. And uh, in the video description, I will leave links to my other two YouTube channels. I've got a gaming channel and one dedicated to the Lego, so... If you like either of those, and you may like to check those out. And uh, I'll leave a link to my Discord server and my Twitch channel as well. So feel free to check those out, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.